I should have known bringing Song to America was a mistake. She was so eager to leave her tiny village in Thailand for the land of opportunity. I was eager to bring my beautiful young bride to my big house in the suburbs. It didn't take long for the boredom to set in. While I was at work, Song was home alone. Our neighbors took pity on her and started inviting her over during the day. I didn't think much of it they were just being friendly. Then the clues started piling up. Seeing her car in the driveway next door when she said she'd be home. Overhearing whispered conversations that stopped when I entered a room. Catching the smirks and knowing looks between Song and the men on our street. By the time I confirmed my suspicions, Song had slept with nearly every man in our neighborhood. I was outraged and humiliated. I decided right then to get even with Song. I told her we were going on a trip to Thailand to visit her family. She was thrilled. I didn't let on that I knew about her affairs. Once we were in Thailand, I met with a lawyer and filed for divorce. Song was shocked when I told her it was over. But why? She cried. I snarled, you know why. The look on her face said it all. She knew she'd been caught. To make matters worse for her, I had already set my sights on her younger and even more beautiful sister, Molly. Within a week, Molly and I were married. They say the best revenge is living well. Now, every time I see Song, with Molly by my side, I know I got the best revenge on her. She's stuck in her dusty little village while I live in luxury with her sister. Seeing Song's envy and regret is the sweetest feeling.